right here is the fridge freezer I have here at the cabin. And I've had this going on for three years now, and it's made by Avana. And after doing research at the time, I found it to be one of the, the more energy efficient ones on the market. And so far, I mean, it's really, it's really served its purpose, and, and I've had no issues with it. And it's roughly around 18 inches wide, 19 inches deep, and I think it's 33 inches tall. So it's not a really big refrigerator, but it's got a lot more storage than, you, than actually what you think when you, you know, just stand from the outside. I also built this small stand for it, so that way you don't have to constantly, you know, bend over to get something out of the bottom tray. And just, you know, it just looks a lot better. I put this ice tray in right around two hours ago, and it's already completely frozen. And this is running completely, like I said, off solar energy. It's using less, less than 50 watts of power. And that one gallon jug of ice is completely frozen. You see I have four solar panels I'm using to power this fridge freezer inside. And then four panels are capable of producing up to 600 watts of power. And it's a really sunny day. So I say the batteries are going to be on a float charge here by noon. Right here is the, the charge controller. And what this thing does is regulate the power coming in from the solar panels. And right now it's on a float charge. So so my, my batteries are completely charged. And um, I have 10 batteries right here. And right here, this blue box is an inverter. And what this thing does is invert the power from over from DC to AC, like in your house. So you know you can run appliances. Here's the lower compartment of the refrigerator. And you have a lot more room than you do as the freezer compartment. And I replaced the old bulb with an LED bulb. So it uses less than a, one watt of power when that light kicks on. So the, the refrigerator uses just a little over 50 watts of power when running. And it's running right now, and it's really quiet refrigerator. And it's great for running on solar power. I have the refrigerator plugged to a kilowatt meter to give you an idea how energy efficient this thing is. And it's using just a little over 50 watts of power. Some people think, you know, if you're off the grid, you're really roughing it, but you're not. And I'm still kind of surprised how, you know, solar energy could freeze that ice jug off just 50 watts of power. And, and you got to have some ice cream at night, and <laughs> that makes it a lot better. And it's nice to know, you know, you don't have no electric bill or nothing either. I also put a timer back here. So if I'm low on solar energy, I could, you know, just set my timer at night so my refrigerator don't kick on. Right here is the energy guide that came with the refrigerator. And also I replaced the old bulb with an LED light bulb. It's about 6 p.m. and my batteries are still at 100%. And this is a trimetric battery monitor. Shows you the state of charge of my batteries. Just not the refrigerator and freezer, but I run the entire cabin off of solar. I don't know, you probably checked around on prices with different model refrigerators and freezers for run on solar, and some of them get pretty pricey. And also did a lot of research on this, and um, and I found out this works really good. I'm surprised by it because there's other models that cost you know way over a thousand dollars, and for one to cost right around one eighty, and and quiet as it is, and energy efficient, and and like I said, in two years, I've never had no issues with this refrigerator. If you have any questions or anything, just message me back, and then I'll try to get back with you as quick as I can. 